It was an emotional moment last year as Team Maine, Robert Gardner and Andrew Milley crossed the finish line. Both men dedicating the win to their grandfathers who had passed. My grandfather had passed away while we were in the race. So my father, who I do 90% of my snowmobiling with, and my mother, who is obviously a big part of my life, she's my mother, weren't there to be with me. So uh, more than anything, I'd like to win this year just so they can experience that with me. He's back in the garage gearing up for this year. The duo's pulling out all the stops to win the race, but they know it takes more than just being ready to win Kane's Quest. Yes, there is a ton of preparedness. There's a ton of... Um, scouting and mechanical and, and all that stuff that goes in it. But at the end of the day, man, you've got to have some luck. This year, they're up against the 2014 title holders, Team Aurora, who wasn't in the competition last year. I actually watched the whole thing on an iPhone. It was driving me crazy. Back in the running, vying to take their title back. They're a very competitive team, and we will have to be turning up a notch because I believe this one is going to be, the front runners, I think, is going to be very fast in this one. And though the goal is to make it through the 3,200-kilometer course and cross the finish line first, part of the competition is working together. Yes, they're the previous champions, and yes, we are, you know, racing against each other, but we're friends. We've actually shared a lot of resources for this race because that's the only way you can do it. So no doubt there is a bit there that we will be racing against previous champions, but it's not like you would expect because we're so close. And everyone helps one another through and it's been always that way. But at the end of the day, when you're coming home, get out of the way.